first, let's talk about setting up your Pinterest profile. Pinterest profiles are short and sweet, but don't underestimate the importance of a quality profile. Ideally, your Pinterest account should be your business name, if it's not already taken. If already taken, get as close as possible. Or if your business is one that doesn't seem pin conducive, like a bank or a credit union, create a business Pinterest page for an adjacent topic. Using a bank as an example, you could create a page that focuses on shameless money-saving tips. Add a clean and clear profile image. In most cases, your business logo is appropriate. However, if your logo doesn't fit well, have it redesigned to fit or substitute it with a best-selling product or even your founder or CEO's headshot. Be sure to add your website homepage URL so that anyone who finds their way to your profile page can easily be redirected. Fill out your location, where you're based or your service area. Fill out a short and engaging About Me section, letting visitors know what makes your brand unique. Next, let's talk about creating a Pinterest strategy. As with all methods of online or offline marketing, you must have a strategy in place. Since each social media site is unique, your strategy also must be unique to Pinterest. In other words, you can't just pre-schedule the exact same posts to Instagram, Pinterest, Facebook, and Twitter. That's not to say that there can't be some overlap, but each site is utilized for different purposes, so your content and strategy must reflect your purpose. Your first step will be to set some clear, specific, and measurable goals, as we discussed earlier. To begin with, you need to build your foundation. This means investing in creating an organized and relevant category of boards for both your shared pins and your original pins. Then you need to begin posting regularly to build your followers and number of pins. Once you have a foundation, continue posting at least three to five times a week with the goal of getting your website traffic from Pinterest at or above the average of 5%. To determine the percentage of those who transfer from Pinterest to your website, landing page, or linked URL, you should set up Google Analytics. You can also use your preferred analytics software or view the analytics provided by Pinterest. Your page must be set up as a business account to view Pinterest analytics. What you're looking for is which pins do the best so that you can create similar yet unique pins. Let's talk about setting up rich pins. Rich pins simply mean that you can provide in-depth context about your pin. There are currently four rich pin options, app, product, recipe, and article. For example, a product rich pin could automate the current price featured on your website and might let the customer know if the product is in stock. You need to apply for rich pins, which is fast and approval is easy. Pinterest really just needs to verify that you're legitimate and that you have the basic metadata requirements. Next, there's promoted pins. The focus of this marketing guide is to help you design an organic Pinterest marketing plan but we do want to make sure you're aware of all of your options. If you want to hyper-target your demographic, you can invest in paid promoted pins. Promoted pins increase engagement by 2 to 5% and drive more targeted traffic directly to your website or sales funnel or opt-in page. Your pay-per-click promoted pins offer advanced analytics and tips on what similar competitors are bidding on and which products are currently trending. The primary benefit of Pinterest paid advertising is that the cost per click is much lower than Google PPC. In most cases, you can bid under 50 cents per click and generate impressive conversions. Selecting your keywords is also far more intuitive. Now that we've talked a little bit about getting started on Pinterest, let's move on to Pinterest content ideas and best practices.